Alright guys, we got a kind of a different haul video today. Still Hot Wheels, mostly, but um, it's going to be the monster trucks that they have released. Um, I just picked up the ones I like. I actually have a bunch of monster trucks from when I was a little kid. Um, I haven't really bought any for a long time, and just every once in a while I'll pick up one. And so some of these have been out for probably half a year or more. But um, I ended up with enough of them. I was like, I'm just going to wait and do a haul video of monster trucks. So some of these have come from O'Reilly Auto Parts. Some of these have come from Walmart or Target or Kmart or, you know, places like that. So and Needlers, I think they've also come from Needlers and Marsh. So... We're just going to get into it here. I'll start off with a new one. So this is Snakebite. Vinny Venom. It's got a free re-crushable car. It's in the fan favorite series. The packaging on these things looks like a big tire. This is a new one for 2021. When I was a little kid, I had a great big, I think it was a Road Rippers brand, Snake Bite, and it was green. It looked just like this truck, for the most part. And, um, uh, anyway, it looked just like that. Uh, I think, I, I do not have the Corvette. I've been looking for the Corvette. I have not found it, unfortunately. Um, I've picked up the other ones that I liked. From this from this group here, I didn't care for any of these. I didn't buy those. The rest of these I have, other than the Corvette, I couldn't find. So they've got these little things here: venomous velocity, quick strike. You know the name type of vehicle it is. Um, this one I can tell you came from Needlers because I just picked this one up. But most of these I won't be able to tell you where they came from, probably. So our car here is a very soft... I don't know why we're angled over like that. Our car here is a very soft rubber. I'll probably almost turn the thing inside out. It's like a silicone. If you put some kind of null oil wash or something over this, it would actually look pretty neat, you know. But, you know, it's just a crushed car. They're, they are detailed if you look closely at them. You know, they're not just a big blob. One thing about these monster trucks is the packaging is easy to put back together because it's just a big round thing. So then the main truck here, it's got dark gray wheels. Instead of saying Monster Jam or anything on them, they just say Hot Wheels. Uh, the newer ones, I've noticed the chrome part that holds the wheels in and all that, the basic chassis of the truck, is plastic. On the older ones that I grew up with, they were still die cast. I don't know when they switched over. Got the scales here that are actually textured. That's pretty cool. It's got the teeth, the eye of the snake. Got Firestone, Summit Racing Equipment, Vinny Venom, got Firestone, I guess I read Firestone. Of course, Snake Bite and Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Pretty cool. I think these tires are some kind of hard rubber. But yeah, they just roll over the car. Like like so. Alright. This older one here, we have a V8 Bomber. You can tell not all of these are from the same time because this has a hard plastic connect and connect and crash car. You can see they just kind of stick together here. And always on target. Mega Boom sends the other <clears throat> trucks flying. Have not found the Bigfoot. I would like to find that. I have a green light Bigfoot though, so I'm not Bigfootless. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to open this one. I have two of these. I'm going to do a custom on this one since I do have two of them. So let me dig the other one out of here. 
and we'll open it up. It's got a cooler thing that comes with it anyway. It's new for 2020. Here's the newer V8 bomber. It's the same truck. It's really cool though. It came with a crushed 77 Dodge van. Which is kind of sad, but it's pretty cool. They've got some neat crushed cars here. They've got a, uh, I think that one was a Ford sedan. I think this was a Monte Carlo. This was one of their wagons. I don't remember which one this was. It was a GM vehicle, though. Then the van here. So I like these crushed vehicles here. I don't know about them. They say free at the, I don't know about them being free they uh these do kind of cost a little bit these are made out of die cast so they're pretty heavy this one i honestly bought because i wanted the crushed van you guys know i like the old vans and i wouldn't have bought one that i already had except i really wanted this so this is pretty cool again i think with an oil wash over them null oil I think the um, dents and everything would really come out in these. This says blindsided on the bottom. But yeah, I mean, they're built just like a normal Hot Wheels car. Got the axles and the wheels. and the, They just happen to be crushed. This one, I believe, is the Dodge van that Hot Wheels makes. Pretty neat, though. Then the truck here is a really cool truck. It's a 71-72 uh, era Chevy pickup. It's got the teeth in the grill there. Got the dog. Got the hatch and the vents and the teeth on the side. The V8 bomber. It's got the... the other trucks it's knocked out of the territory. Pretty cool. Painted up like an old uh, World War II fighter jet. Got green wheels, hot wheels, tires. Alright, let's pick out another one here. That's the only one I had a double of. Got another one with the die cast car here, which I believe is a Monte Carlo. New for 2020, or you can't see the car. You probably wonder what I'm talking about. Because this is definitely not a Monte Carlo. This is like a Yukon, GMC Yukon or something. A Demolition Derby monster truck here. Demo Derby is the name of it. So it's got some crazy colors on it here. The cars, I think, weigh more than the monster trucks do. So we'll look at the car first here. You know, so some of these are pretty detailed. You know, they got the the steering wheel and the um, dashboard in there. You can still see the shifter. Uh, there's no seats in it, but I don't expect that. You can see the headlights in the grill and door handles tail lights yeah this is definitely the Monte Carlo that Hot Wheels makes but yeah they just these are pr I'm very impressed with these honestly I think they're pretty cool there's the base over there is called speed bump These would do really good on the Hot Wheels track. They seem to roll really good. Then the uh, Demolition Derby Monster Truck here. I didn't show you. The, uh, the back of that one doesn't have any statistics for the truck. There's Mo Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Got the Happy Face 68 for when Hot Wheels was released. Got the uh, Hot Wheels logos and the Happy Faces. Got red rear wheels, got a turquoise frame, the chassis yellow, it's got the yellow stripes on the, the front wheels, got some construction stripes on the front, more happy faces and Hot Wheels stuff. 
same stuff on this side. Not sure what this big stripe is supposed to be. That one's pretty cool though, because it's got the stuff on the the wheels there. But yeah, I think this is supposed to be like a GMC Yukon or a Suburban or something. Switch into another Yukon here. I really like this one, even though it's, it's kind of silly, but I like it. SUV, making skid marks, royal flush, be the life of the potty, because its name is Potty Central, and it has all sorts of poop emojis all over it. It's in the Stunt Storm series. This one has a crushable car. It would appear you have to assemble that one. I have this. I don't have the truck, though. Yeah, I happen to have this one. I don't know what type of car... I mean, obviously a station wagon, but I don't know what type of vehicle specifically it's supposed to be. And it's not going together very well. Yeah, I would probably glue this together so it didn't come apart, but there it is. You know, it's still detailed. The camera's not going to pick up on it very well, probably, because it's all one solid color. But, you know, they've got the cracks in the glass. Headlights broke out. Dents in the doors. And Potty Central here has red wheels. And a toilet and toilet paper and stars and cake and poop and more poop and more poop and balloons and more cake and poop with glasses and poop with hats and more toilet paper more poop with glasses more cake more poop on top of balloons it's kind of a goofy one, but I liked it. Okay, yeah, you'll have to pardon the squeaky chair. Here, this is not actually made by Mattel, I don't believe. This is a Monster Jam authentic vehicle. This is Gravedigger the Legend, which I've been looking for for a number of of years back when Hot Wheels made the Monster Jam stuff and I was unable to ever find it. But yeah, these are made by Spin Master, which I believe Hasbro might make the diecast vehicles. I don't think Spin Master themselves makes these. I think I think maybe Hasbro or Maisto or one of them makes makes the uh, actual truck. They're a heck of a lot harder to get open. They're made quite differently from the Matchbox, or from the Hot Wheels, I'd say. This one comes, comes with a driver and a poster. I bet the posters get thrown away a lot. Good grief. What in the world? Problems and questions. Spinmaster.com. That's interesting. But yeah, this is Gravedigger the Legend. Big uh, late 40, no, uh, that's early 50s um, Ford panel truck here. This one's a little more detailed. This one's got the uh, engine and more of the frame of the truck. It's got the BKT tires that they're using now. This rubber is a little bit softer. They have more authentic wheels like the old Hot Wheels used to. But they're basically made the exact same way as the old Hot Wheels. Kill Devil Hills, um, North Carolina. We went past the Gravedigger 
I guess you'd call it Gravedigger Museum when we were in North Carolina. Just, they had some monster trucks outside. It says Gravedigger the Legend. This one has a driver inside. Their uh, decals have some printing lines in them. And if you notice, the wheels are just a tad bit smaller. Their uh, turning radius is a lot bigger, though, than it is with these. They are smaller, though, just by a tad. This is a poster. Oh, this is a checklist poster. Oh, here's our driver. Got the steering wheel and the matching blue suit. I was very excited to find this one. This is Roger Dodger Monster Truck. Roger Dodger. Roger Dodger was a very popular old Hot Wheels car back in the 70s. And um, I was very excited to see a monster truck Roger Dodger, although that would not have been something that I would have guessed would ever be made. It comes with a rub oh, <clears throat> silicone car as well. Oh, this one does have statistics on the back. Truck type, muscle car. Strength, flat-out acceleration, crash attack, full speed slam. They're somewhat creative with their things here. Alright, so this is the same, basically the same as this little fold-out car. The trunk is crushed a little differently. The, the front is different. There's no thing poking out on this rubber one. I rather prefer the uh, silicone car to the plastic fold-out car. I keep thinking this is a Dodge Neon from the side, but the uh, headlights are not correct for that. This I have no idea what it is. Maybe an Aries wagon? Dodge Aries? I don't know. But Roger Dodger here. This one's cool. It's got red bead locks, glossy black wheels, nice bright blue color. It's got the uh, old flames just like Roger Dodger came with got the big engine it's got two engines got an engine up here and an engine back here monster trucks hot wheels pretty cool so with that one in mind I do not have the um, bone shaker but I have the other two that I thought were pretty significant um, Hot Wheels castings. They had Roger Dodger, they had Bone Shaker, and they had Twin Mill. I tried to find the three um, Hot Wheels castings that were pretty significant. Twin Mill, Truck Type Hot Rod, Strength, Dual V8 Engines, Double Down Stump, to hit them twice as hard. This one has a fold-out crushable car. Have not seen the Chewbacca truck. That one might be interesting. Haven't seen Iron Man either. I like Iron Man, so I might actually buy that one. Looking in my bag here next to me, apparently I do have a Bigfoot. Did not realize that. This one's in the Crash Legends series. This one also came from Needlers. I just picked this one up. Same time as the uh, snake bite there. We have the same, not even the same car in a different color, but... The same green fold-up station wagon, which I won't bother to put together since we have one already. Now, something I already had noticed in the package was Roger Dodger, or I'm sorry, Twin Mill. Twin Mill has nicer wheels than all of the other ones. It's got real rubber tires, and the spokes are cast through. And something funny I noticed also, got the old Hot Wheels font, but something funny I noticed was the back of the car has slicks, like drag slicks on it. 
So it's still set up like a drag car, even though it's monster truck. So this truck has three engines. The twin mill engines and then the monster truck engine. Real rubber tires here, which actually you can tell they're separate pieces because you can spin them separate from the um, wheels. I don't know if it rolls any better than the other ones. I mean, they all roll really good. It probably rolls a little smoother. Number 68 for 1968. Again, got the Hot Wheels badge there. This one says Twin Mill up by the windshield. My grandpa brought up a good point. Maybe Twin Mill is modeled after a Corvette, you know. I can see where that would come from. It's got the pointed nose. This one's exaggerated, but it's got a pointed nose. Fenders come up over the uh, over the wheels. I can definitely see where this could have been modeled after a Corvette. I never made that connection before. And looking at it after that, I don't know how I never made that connection. Hot Wheels Monster Truck 68, or 68 back here, and the blue stripe continuing. So that one's pretty cool. I don't think this was a special edition or anything. I think just because it was twin mill, it had special tires on it. And now they're all rolling away. A few more here. Let's throw another Spin Master truck in here. This was a Walmart exclusive W. This was a special edition fire and ice truck. I got it because it was a Willys pickup truck. I thought that was pretty cool. Monster Jam Authentic from Spin Master. This is a Fire and Ice Edition. This one is W. I'm sure this thing has a name. I haven't watched Monster Jam in so long, though. I don't know what the name of this is other than W. I can't tell you any more than what the truck says. This one does not have a driver... Or a po nope, no poster. All right, so this one's the first one I think that we've opened up that didn't come with anything. Maybe there was one other one. I don't think these glow in the dark. Doesn't look like they do. But again, these are softer rubber, still BKT tires, just like they use now. But yeah, I basically bought it for the truck. I thought the truck was really cool. It's an old Willys pickup truck from the 40s. Which was appropriate that it had a W on it since it was a Willys truck. It's got some cool graphics on it here. Monster Jam Fire. So yeah, orange tires, red rims, yellow treads. Yellow frame, framework, the chassis is red. Two more here. I do have a Bigfoot. I'm very happy I found Bigfoot. This was a new one for 2020. Back to Hot Wheels here. Monster Trucks Live is the series this one's in. This one has a crushable car. Hey, guess what this is? It's another wagon. This one just happens to be red. Pickup, car crushing shocks, original stomp, always be groundbreaking. Um, all beefed up. I haven't seen that one. Uh, I haven't seen these three. Or I don't actually I haven't seen any of these except for the ones I've got. Oh, that's not the wagon. That's the sedan. I always feel like these are gonna snap when you unfold them. Not the easiest thing to put together. 
But um, I like the how this one has the the door open. Match the car, the door come open. See, like they're detailed. They got a gas cap and with pillars in the windows and door handles. You know, they're not a solid piece of plastic. They're just not very impressive. They're not as impressive as the silicone ones or the die cast ones, but they're not terrible. Good props. Bigfoot here. This is the newer style Bigfoot. This is a newer style Ford truck. It says Bigfoot there. Got the white wheels. The black speck inside there. The white frame. This one's got a lot of white and chrome. It says Bigfoot on the tailgate. Monster trucks. Got the Bigfoot logo. Bigfoot 4x4x4. Four by four by four. Summit Racing, Firestone. Pretty cool truck. One more here. I thought this was neat. Something different. Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Flames series haul, y'all. This would be the truck people would pay to get a ride around the Monster Truck Arena in this truck. I thought that was something kind of different and unique. Hot Wilder, I did not see that one. We got Radical Racer. Radical Racer looks like a beefed up Diesel Boy um, casting to me. Um, haul y'all, pickup, crowded favorite, standing boom only. Uh, to get the fans front and center. Yeah, I think there's a Hot Wheels casting called Diesel Boy, and um, it's kind of got a skull cabin like that on there. I think that's probably what that one's like. What did we get? Ah, oh, we got another green wagon. I'm not even going to try to unfold it for you guys. So something kind of unique here. The roll bar is padded so you don't hit your head on it. Nice bumper back here. Got the seats with the seat belts in there. It says haul y'all. Got the chrome wheels. Got the yellow frame. Got flames on it. I'm not sure what... No, that's not the same truck. Looks kind of like maybe a GM front end on there. Haul, oh, y'all. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels monster trucks. So this one, no sponsors on this one. Pretty cool, though. Alright, so that's going to be it for the video. Because that's the end of that bag. Oops, we lost one. We lost one of my ones I really like, too. Torque Terror, this was a new one for 2021, Neon Shockers series. Oh, it was ready to come out. Got a silicone car here, that's a pasty blue vehicle there. And we have a nice pink pickup truck here. The Neon Shockers series. You stay there. So this has got yellow bead locks, pink wheel, pink and green wheels. It's got a bright green frame. Got a yellow chassis. And what color is that windshield? That windshield looks like it's yellow. And the base of the basic truck is green. Or I'm sorry, good grief. The truck is pink. This I was looking at the frame, it was green. The truck itself is pink. I don't know where green came from. It's got some hot wheels and some graphics. This just has a lot of graphics on it, like uh sprinkles and icing and zebra print. I just like the pink. I thought it was different. So 
So now that's it. I can't believe I almost forgot that one. So like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. And it probably won't be about monster trucks. Because I, I don't... Based on this, you wouldn't believe it. But I don't actually buy these very often. I just... I had enough that I thought, I'll, I'll wait and do them in a separate haul video. And then every once in a while, I get some more. So over the accumulation of the past couple months, I... Uh, ended up with a bag full of them so have a great day guys and i'll catch you in the next video